Yo, what's up? I'm making this video right now to explain to you the proven process to overcome stuttering. I first want to clarify what overcoming, stu what overcoming stuttering means. Overcoming stuttering, what it doesn't mean is 100% fluency, all right? I will never guarantee that and I never want to guarantee it never want to guarantee that for one it puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on you to be who you are and who you are right now is a person who still may stutter sometimes and if you invalidate your own your worth because you stutter that's not doing you any fucking good to your overall fulfillment and happiness in life and two i still stutter all right I still stutter from time to time. I'm not 100% fluency. So of course, overcoming stuttering doesn't mean 100% fluency if I claim to have overcome my stutter. What overcoming stuttering means, I'll tell this with a story. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in Colombia in, Me in Medellin. And I, I was living in this house with like eight other people who worked online. I met this girl the first day I was at this house, that first day we went out and got food. And in the streets of Medellin, it's fucking loud. All right. It was on like a Friday. It was on a Friday night or maybe a Saturday night. It was fucking loud. So many bars just walking down the street. And because this place was new to me and because this like this whole I didn't speak Spanish. Everything was like new and loud, like fucking new, like <laughs> such a change of reality from where I was from. I saw, I felt, I noticed myself stuttering a lot more. It was all, it was all loud and I, I was like a little bit stressed out. And I noticed myself stuttering quite a bit more when it's speaking to this girl out on the streets. And... It wasn't the most enjoyable for me to stutter because it was like a first impression. This girl is living in the house and I was like, I want to be seen and loved inside of this house with all these other people. So I wasn't the most relaxed when I was stuttering, but I was still saying every word that I wanted to say. I wasn't giving in to any fear and I was being myself. All right, we got back home. I think two days pass and the girl that we went, I went out for food with the first night was leaving that house. And as she was leaving, she was saying, she walked up to me and she said, Chase, I want to tell you something. And I was like, okay, what is it? And she's like, actually, <laughs> never mind. It's probably inappro in a, inappropriate. And I said, okay, now you have to tell me. And she said, okay, uh, yeah, it's probably inappropriate. I don't know if, like how this will sound, but your stutter is extremely sexy. And I was like, huh, I like, I made me feel very good. I was like, well, thank you. Um, I, I never thought she saw it in that way. And it made me reflect back into the first day that we, we met when, I, when we we're out, out for food. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck was I stressing out so much that I was stuttering with this girl? Why couldn't I just relax? What if I always knew in my mind that she's viewing this as so fucking sexy right now? Like there, there we, I, I, I would want to, I would want to stutter more. And from that moment, it made me realize like how much choice we have with the beliefs we hold on to. We can choose to view our, to assume that people think of our stutter as this horrible, disgusting, low status, um, weak, uh, peasant. Like when we stutter, we can choose to believe people see us in that way as this anxious, insecure person. Or we can choose a different belief system. And to reflect back on what overcoming stuttering means to me is that your stutter doesn't hold you back. 
and you're holding on to beliefs about yourself and about your stutter that empower expression. And from this moment with the girl, I chose to think differently about my stutter. And I thought differently about it be before, but this moment like solidified that. And I just chose different beliefs that <laughs> when I stutter, people fucking love it. And believe me, when I truly believe this, I see it. I see people open up. I see people like relax when I stutter because with this belief, I'm no longer pushing through blocks. I'm no longer pushing and forcing through stutters, but I relax when I stutter because I, I smirk inside knowing this person may be falling in love with me right now. And it may sound so crooked to somebody whose relationship with their stutter is so ne so ne so negative but i promise you it's all on how you see it and if you believe it in a different way if you believe your stutter means something different it's actually not this bad thing that enables you to stutter calmly when you stutter calmly you stutter less because it's not this big monster you have to resist and you know it's not gonna cause a lot of embarrassment and frustration and anxiety when you stutter because your relationship with it. And you know that other people actually, they love to see it because it sees, oh fuck, I'm in a human interaction right now. Imperfections, imperfections are accepted here. He or she completely accepts their, themselves and their stutter when most people would resist it and try to hide it. Fuck, I can show my true self here. All right, that's what overcoming, stu overcoming stuttering is. That's a long introduction to the, pro the proven process to overcome stuttering. I'm gonna go through this process really quickly. It's called Depart. And this is something that I have uh, been helping people for years now overcome their stutter using this process. But I just recently have come up with this, uh, what's it called, Depart, like a, I forget what it's called. Award, not a word play, but you know what I'm saying. D part, each letter stands for a different thing. So the D in D part, the first, the first thing to overcome stuttering, the first process that have helped dozens and dozens and dozens of people overcome their stutter in the past two and a half years of me doing this, the first letter D stands for discovering you. You have to understand who you are. And this is a discovering you takes process throughout this whole deep heart, through this whole process. But you have to understand at least a chunk of who you are at the beginning. Because who you, in, how do I word that? Overcoming stuttering isn't simply about speaking fluently. It's about realizing who you are is completely fucking enough in every environment, in every situation, no matter how you speak. And if you do not know who you are, how can you feel enough in that? If you're constantly the shapeshifter in every single environment you go into, how can you have a base to go back? Like who, how do you know who you truly are? How, what version of you do you know is the authentic you, the one that is enough, and how can you express this version into every environment you go into? How do you know when you're pleasing or if you're actually being who you are? How do you know when you're trying to prove yourself you're actually being who you are? So under, understanding your values, understanding your direction, understanding who you are gives you a great base to start developing this sense of I'm enough. That's the first letter in D. The P, so it's D slash part. P is preparation. So this is everything that goes into your process before speaking. This is your habits. This is the way you think. This is your intention. What? Because I, I guess this is just a small fucking glimpse of preparation, but if you're coming into a speaking interaction with the intention of trying to be fluent or trying to prove that you don't stutter, trying to prove that you're cool, you're going to fucking stutter. You're going to fucking 
drop your self-worth. You're going to never feel like you're enough. So the preparation is the right mindset so you can come into the speaking interaction and inevitably grow from it and have the most fun and enjoyment speaking because you have the right intention, because you're coming in with the right mindset, because you're coming in in this calm, composed, relaxed state. So those are all the actions. Like that's, that's a whole chunk of my program is learning how to prepare best so you're in the best mental state so you can grow the most from these interactions. The, the A, so the DPA is um, action. So when you're speaking, what do you do? Are you constantly thinking about the mechanics of speaking? Or are you learning to trust that, hey, intuitively, I already know how to speak. My body, my body does it naturally. It's only when I'm in my head when I start to stutter. So it's only when I'm having these thoughts and anticipating. So the A is the whole tool, the whole toolkit, the whole process that you have for if you catch yourself being in your head, what do you do in that speaking moment? How do you remain relaxed and calm in the face of external pressures when you're speaking? If you catch yourself anticipating when you're listening, thinking about yourself, how, how do you ground yourself and bring you back into a present state so you can give yourself the best opportunity to express an authentic next thought instead of expressing a thought that it stems from fear that's going to cause a lot more stuttering. So action. D-P-A-R. R is response to results. All right. This is fucking huge, just like the rest of the letters too. But how you relate to the results, how you relate to the outcomes of your speaking, did it determines everything. It determines fucking everything. If you believe you stuttered and that means you, you aren't worth it, if it means you're never going to get better, if those are the stories that you replay in your head, then that's fucking true. But if how you, re, how you respond to the results are in a positive way where it gives you the most even if the outcome is the same, if you respond to the results and you feel emotionally different about it, you're going to feel more confident going into your next speaking interaction. You're going to feel more worthy overall and you're going to gain momentum. So response to results is all about um, building on, sick, on, sick, on successes and learning from the mistakes without judgment and with this process how to respond to results it doesn't matter how you fucking speak because you know you will respond in a constructive way that inevitably you will grow if you took that action and the t so d p a r t is time and your relation to time how you relate to time is fucking important if you're wishing for the magic pill that's going to work instantly. You're not going to overcome stuttering. You will not be patient enough to reap the benefits of a consistent practice of authentic expression. This is shit that takes time. It takes consistent action. And your relation of how you should see your, pro how you should see your progress based upon the time that goes by is very key. And... Realizing like you're further ahead than you think you are in term of the process and realizing that um, the more you are, hmm, the quicker you want this to happen, the longer it's going to take. But if your relation is like, hey, I'm on the journey right now, I feel fucking good. I'm further ahead than I, than I initially thought I was because you are. If, if you have this, this broad spectrum of time that, hey, I'm fucking good right now. I'm learning how to express myself because I'm doing D-P-A-R. I'm feeling fucking good. I'm expressing myself more authentically than I ever have. The time is not an issue. If you can have that relation with it, you're going to fucking go by this process so quick because you're not forcing anything. You are not, you're naturally accepting 
of your, re of your results and you're learning to embrace each moment, not wishing it were different. So that's D part. And <laughs> I know it's like a fucking drop I gave of each, but if you wish to go through the D part process with me and learn of how to discover who you truly are, what the, prep, what the preparation process looks like in terms of habits, in terms of your daily rituals, in terms of your mindset, in terms of your intention, what the actions look like, what types of actions you will have to take, the response to results, how to respond differently to every type of result you can have, and how to change your relation with time so you're accepting of all, you're not rushing it, and you're actually changing a lot faster and transforming a lot faster because of that. If you wish to go through this process with me and overcome stuttering, then look at the closest link down below in the description. Just down below this video, there's a link. You can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me and see if we would be a good fit to work together. That is it for now. I'll see you on the call. I love you and I'll see you on the call.